بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله الذي يجيبني حين أناديه ويستر علي كل عورة وأنا أعصيه ويعظم النعمة علي فلا أجازيه نحمده ونسبحه ونقدس على آلائه ونعمائه ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأن سيدنا محمد عبده ورسوله أرسله بالهدى ودين الحق ليظهره على الدين كله اللهم صل وسلم وبارك وترحم على محمد وآل محمد كأفضل ما صليت وسلمت وباركت وترحمت على إبراهيم وآل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد وصل اللهم وسلم على جميع الأنبياء والمرسلين والأوصياء والصديقين وعترة نبيك الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين وصحابته الأنجاب المؤمنين ومن تبعهم بإحسان وإيمان إلى يوم الدين عباد الله أوصيكم وأوصي نفسي بتقوى الله ولزوم أمره أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصب ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتكملوا العدة ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون وإذا سألك عبادي عني فإني قريب أجيب دعوة الداعي إذا دعان فليستجيبوا لي وليؤمنوا بي لعلهم يرشدون صدق الله العلي العظيم Almost half of the month, or more than half of the month is gone. And we are on the heels of the nights of Qadr, the nights of destiny, the nights that determines our future, determines our destiny, determines our fate, our prosperity, our happiness during these upcoming nights. The first night of Qadr and the reason we have three nights. We don't have one night of Qadr, we have three nights of Qadr. Either one of them it could be the main night. The reason to give people a chance. If it was only one night, people might miss that night and that's a, an important night a night that determines our fate so this is one of the aspects of Allah's mercy on us to hide this night within three nights and the hadith says the first two nights they prepare the night of the 19th the eve of the 19th the eve of the 21st prepares for the eve of the 23rd to prepare ourselves psychologically spiritually we prepare ourselves for the grand night and one of the main important goals of fasting is to fix this relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala our relationship with him is to fix these broken relationships first with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and second with the people if the relationship with Allah is fixed then our relationship with our families our friends our community members our neighbors are, all, are going to be fixed too man aslaha fi ma baynahu wa bayn Allah أصلح الله بما بينه وبين الناس. The reason why sometimes there is tension in our relationship with people around us 
because the main relationship is broken. The main relationship with God is broken. الحمد لله الذي الحمد لله الذي أدعوه فيجيبني وإن كنت بطيئا حين يدعون. Praise to the Lord that whenever I call upon Him, He answers me. But when He calls upon me, I am slow to respond. وإن كنت بطيئا. This is dua Abu Hamza. This is dua of Imam Zain al Abidin عليه السلام. That was taught to his disciple Abu Hamza at Thaman, Thabit ibn Dinar, during the month of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah, الذي أسأله فيعطيني وإن كنت بخيلا حين يستقرب. When I ask him for his blessings, he would give. But when he asks me to give some back, I hesitate. I become bakhil, mean, stingy. I don't give back. Walhamdulillah alladhi unadih kullama shi'tu li hajati wa akhlu bihi haythu shi'tu li sirri min ghayri shafi'in fa yaqli li hajati. Whenever I need to see him and meet with him and speak to him, he's there. I don't need someone, an intercessor here in the middle between me and him. He's there. His gates are always open, especially during this month. Walhamdulillah alladhi la ad'u ghayrah. Walau da'awtu ghayrahu lam yastajib li du'ahi. This is the fundamentals of Tawheed. We learn Tawheed from Ahlul Bayt. Ahlul Bayt, they teach us the right Tawheed, how to speak to Allah and how to worship Him. Alhamdulillah alladhi la ad'u ghayrah. Some traditions, they accuse Ahlul Bayt of shirk. You are mushrik. You don't worship God. But listen to what Imam Zayn al says. Alhamdulillah alladhi la ad'u ghayrah. Praise to that Lord that I call upon none but Him. Walau da'awtu ghayrahu lam yastajib li du'a. Even if I dare to call upon others, they are not going to respond to me. They are unable to respond to me. We call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during this month. So, so do not miss. You have maybe only 13 nights left in this month. Try not to miss the tahajjud. And the tahajjud part of it is salat. Salatul layl. Wa min al-layli fatahajjad bihi nafilatan lak. عَسَىٰ أَنْ يَبْعَثَكَ رَبُّكَ مَقَامًا مَحْمُودًا And part of it is dua. These types of dua. Dua Abu Hamza, dua Al-Sahar, dua Al-Iftitah. We learn the etiquettes of how to speak and address Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this relationship, this vertical relationship has to be fixed and has to be strengthened. Once this relationship is fixed, then we come to the horizontal relationship with the people. When our relationship with Allah is healthy, is normal, is good, then that would reflect on our behavior here with people on earth, beginning with our parents. Sometimes I see some people who do not have good relationship with their families even including their parents. Sometimes between the husband and the wife, this is the month of reconciliation. This is the month, the month of sulh, of peace, of restoring the relationship, restoring the respect, restoring the mental, spiritual intimacy with your family. This is the month. This is the month when your relationship with Allah is good, the heart becomes a pure, clean, and then it is going to be reflected on your relationship with people around you. With your brothers and sisters, in particular our siblings, we have to fix the relationship. With cousins, with extended family members, we have to fix this relationship before the nights of Qadr. Before the night of forgiveness, 
Because Allah, during the nights of Qadr, He does not look at the shapes. He looks at the hearts. And the more the heart is pure and refined, the more the dua is going to be accepted. The more He is going to respond to your prayers and to your requests during Laylatul Qadr. Let's work on the heart. If we have a problem with someone, if we don't speak, if there is disconnection with family members, with friends, before Layalul Qadr, before Layalul Qadr, we take this step, courageous step, courageous step, it requires a lot of courage, a lot of tol tolerance to go to him, to go to her and say, I'm sorry. We are approaching Layal al Qadr and I want to meet my Lord. Illa man at Allah bi qalbin salim. I need my heart to be clean, to be pure. Fasal Allah rabbakum bi niyatin sadiqatin wa qulubin tahira. If the heart is not clean, if the heart is contaminated, and there are many types of contaminations. The worst contamination is a grudge, hiqd. This is the worst type of contamination. This is very deadly, very dangerous. When there is grudge, there is hate, especially when it comes to the mu'mineen, among the mu'mineen in the community of believers. Then that is an ailing heart. And the ailing heart cannot send a message. Sometimes you see the connection, the Wi-Fi connection is weak. It's not good. It's not fast. You, don't, you can't send pictures. They tell you there is weak connection. This is true when it comes to the heart. If the heart is ailing, the heart is not clean, not ready, the message would not go up. The message is not sent. We have to work on the hearts. فَاسْأَلُوا اللَّهَ رَبَّكُمْ بِنِيَّاتٍ صَادِقَةٍ وَقُلُوبٍ طَاهِرَةٍ أَنْ يُوَفِّقَكُمْ To enable you to stand before Him. Standing before Allah requires tawfiq, requires an opportunity, requires some help from Him, requires an invitation by Him. We have to be prepared for the Ali. Prepare the hearts. Some people prepare their books, books of dua, Quran, Sajjada, very good. But more important than all these material things to prepare the heart. To prepare your heart. Make your relationship with people good. Seek forgiveness. Seek forgiveness from people. How many people we insulted? How many people we offended? How many? So many people around us. Throughout the whole year. We don't care. We don't care about them. This is the time to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through this channel, through beginning with His creatures, through restoring our relationship with His creatures, then we can restore a good relationship with, with the Creator. The month of Ramadan is an opportunity for soul searching, for self-examination, self-reflection, روي عنه صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم أنه قال أقربكم مني يوم القيامة أحسنكم أخلاقا أحسنكم أخلاقا The closest one among you to me on the day of judgment is the one with the best akhlaq and best manners and best behavior Not best prayers Not more prayers Some people are eluded under this illusion that the more prayers I pray it gets me to Allah. Yes, if the prayers is right and correct. If the prayers cleanse your hearts, it gets you closer to Allah. But if that prayers is a spiritless, spiritless, فَوَيْلٌ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ وَيْلٌ لِلْمُصَلِّينَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ They do pray physically. But they are absent when it comes to the spirit of the Salat, the message of the Salat, the message of love, the message of care, the message of humility, the message of humbleness, 
the message, message of brotherhood and sisterhood. This is the message of Salat. الَّذِينَ هُمْ عَنْ صَلَاتِهِمْ سَاهُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ يُرَاعُونَ وَيَمْنَعُونَ الْمَاعُونَ Life is too short, my friends. From last Ramadan until this Ramadan, how many people we lost? How many people are gone? Many people. And many of those many uh, were young. Were young. Many of them were young, not very old. Life is too short. It's not worth it to spend this life in tension. It's not worth it. It's not worth it to create tension, to maintain tension. Try to end the tension. Try to restore your relationship with others. I mentioned some hadiths before that our imams, who are leaders in love and compassion and forgiveness, they teach us that even if you think that you are innocent and that side, that part is guilty, still go to him, say, I'm sorry. After three days, do not keep this a broken relationship. Go to that person and say, I'm sorry. Even if you think you are right and he's wrong. Because in most cases, we always believe we are right and others are wrong. Still, you have to go and reach out to that person in order for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The most difficult thing for God is to see his children, his dependents, his creatures are fighting among, among themselves. That's the most difficult thing for him. So he wants us to go back to each other so he can embrace us with his mercy, inshallah. وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ وَجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانَ فَلْيَسْتَجِيبُوا لِي وَلْيُؤْمِنُوا بِي لَعَلَّهُمْ يَرْشُدُونَ أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر وصلى الله وسلم على سيدنا محمد وأهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين